We'll be right back with the true story of Master Sergeant Bill Willis, who has 48 hours to save a life. And now, Bill Willis and the search for Stephen Small. When someone is kidnapped, the main objective is to get them back alive. You want to bust some heads to get some answers, but that isn't how it works. You take the cards that are dealt to you, and you must play them perfectly. Because what is at stake is a human being's life. three teenagers breaking into your office. Is there much damage? We think you should come down and see if anything's missing. All right, thanks. I'll be right there. What's the matter? Someone broke into the office. I'll be right back. I've got a couple of hundred bucks in my wallet. I can drive you to a bank machine. I'm not here for jump change. I'll hang right and pull over. oxygen for 48 hours. Your wife raises the million we want by then, you're home free. Now, you tell her what's happening and you make her believe it. if you do what these people tell you. This is not a joke. I'm not at a party at Urigan's. They want a million dollars. Fifties and hundreds in non-consecutive serial numbers. Get it quickly. I only have 48 hours worth of oxygen. Steve, where are you? Remember, a million dollars and don't call the police.
1987, I was a master sergeant with the Illinois State Police, supervising a covert narcotics unit. On September 2nd, I was filling in for my vacationing zone commander. The FBI called around 7 a.m. in the morning to notify me of the kidnapping. I asked if they needed any help. They said at that time they didn't need anything. About 9 o'clock, they called back. This time, they wanted some help. We found you at that other table. How many phone lines do you want, sir? We need at least 10 phone lines. I want a direct line to Washington and one to the radio room. Lieutenant Lucas. Master Sergeant Willis. Call me Bell. All right. Yeah, it's a long story. Ralph, how long till that radio is hooked up? I'm talking to the house now. We'll need all the help you can give us on this. This guy worth a million. He runs a TV station and a couple of newspapers. Grandfather was governor. Lieutenant governor lives over his back fence. Sounds like a hot one. You sure this guy didn't take a powder? Maybe he's got a girlfriend somewhere. Maybe business is bad. Everybody we talk to says he's a complete straight arrow. All right. The taps and traces are online at the house. Your guy says nobody's called back. You're going to need a team ready to roll if that trace pays, huh? How many men can you field? I've got 19 agents. We'll team with your guys, local police, mix and match. That way we'll uh, have a common radio frequency. You don't waste much time, do you? Not a stand around guy. What do you want them? Right now, ready and wait. Yeah. I guess we can't make a move till they call back. What'd they say last time? He asked for an unmarked million. We got a flash roll coming in from the Chicago office. A million dollar flash roll? Comes in a suitcase, weighs 80 pounds. <laughs> He said this was no joke, that he wasn't at a party at Jurgens. Now, we're checking to see if that's a club or a restaurant. Now, Jurgens a lawyer. He lives about six miles east of here in a little town called Aroma Park. He was trying to tell her something. What else? Something about a box and having enough oxygen for 48 hours. The kidnapper told Nancy Small if she called us, she'd never find out where he's buried. He's buried in Aroma Park. Ralph! Yeah. Let's put a blanket on Aroma Park. All right, a lot of territory. It's a lot less territory than the whole state of Illinois. Put a plane up, too. Tell him to fly a grid, see if you can find Small's car. Right. And let's hustle. We've got 42 hours. Got it. While the surveillance team moved out towards Aroma Park, Lucas and I waited for the kidnapper to call. We don't care about getting the money back. We really don't care about catching the kidnappers. The important thing is getting that human back alive. Bill, this could be it. Hello? Mrs. Small? Yes? What I get? How much? We... I have the money together. It's on its way here. I'll call you back at midnight. I want to talk to my husband. We'll find him. Don't you worry. Did you get it? Where's the exchange? Right. Three points for you, Bill. Call came from Aroma Park. Uh, 